Hola! Welcome to day 18 of the 30 Days of Self Care Challenge. Um, I am Shakoya D. Today, um, we are going to do the set aside a um, monthly gift fund. That's the task that we're going to do from the checklist. Um, and originally I was going to do like an envelope or something, but I think I want to make like a specific um, jar for it. So we're going to do a little bit of crafting today. I don't know what it's going to look like <laughs> or what like I envisioned just yet, but I'm going to work on getting the supplies together first and then I can work on actually doing the jar. So BRB. Okay. I just want to preface this by saying I don't know what I'm doing per se. I don't have a particular vision in mind, but the goal is to make a uh, personal gift fund. So I'm actually just going to, we're going to get a little crafty tonight. So I'm going to use a mason jar um, and some of the supplies that I have from some of my crafting. So I have chalkboard paint, which I, which I have bought a while ago and never used. So I'm gonna use that. I got some rhinestones. Got gold, I got pink, I have purple, I have silver. And I have some sunflowers. So let's see what we can put together. Like I have a little bit of a vision in mind, but I don't fully 100% know exactly how this is about to turn out. So let's see what happens. So first things first, I'm going to find a marker. Um, so that I can attempt to draw a rectangle of some sort on this mason jar. All right, so I found a marker. I don't know if it works. Oh, it works, okay. <sighs> so I'm actually, the reason why I want to draw a square on here is because, well, a rectangle is because I'm gonna use this kind of as my line to stay within So that I can, I want this to be interchangeable. So like whatever I'm saving for in that moment, I can write it in on here. I don't even know if y'all can really see that. Uh, once I have the, the uh, chalkboard paint on here. And, oh, this ain't even open. Okay, hold on. So I'm gonna, do the chalkboard paint and like I said I didn't really have a plan so it's not like completely centered or anything like that because this is also for just for me so I'm gonna do something that's more so quick and simple I don't want to be up all night trying to figure this out I might be if I can't get this this paint open I just might be up all night up late again. All right. I might have to call for assistance. What in the world? There we go. All right. Like I said, I've never used this paint before. But let's see what happens. It says it's non-toxic and stuff. And it says clean while wet with soap and water. So the goal is to the goal is to paint inside this square. Let's see how that works out. I should have gotten some water or something first. So I'm gonna do that later. Okay, so yeah, I'm not using anything super fancy. I'm literally just using the things that I have. 
lucky for me, I be crafting. It's been a while since I just crafted some stuff other than flower pins, so. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of that. So I got the chalkboard paint. I already got paint on me and I don't even know how. I didn't even do anything yet. All right, I'm gonna wet this a little bit. But I'm gonna just wet it to loosen up the bristles. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm doing. Y'all ignore the ash on my hands too, because it's late. It's late. All right, let's try and get this done in the next 20 minutes. Like, I don't necessarily want to dilute the paint, but I do want these bristles to be movable. I don't even know if this rectangle is straight. I don't know how this is going to look on this glass. But it's gonna be amazing. Just gotta believe in yourself sometimes. I like how that's coming out. I actually might um, start using this paint on a lot more things. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be, which is actually really good. All right, so this is where we're at so far. It is a little crooked, but it's fine. This is just for me and I'm gonna let this dry and then work on another part while this is drying. Cut off the stem. Okay, so I already know now what I'm gonna do with the top and the sunflower. Um, I was gonna add some rhinestones to the top, but um, it's actually gonna be too difficult to open. Like if I add them to the sides, you if I twist the thing, it's probably gonna pop some rhinestones off. So I don't want that, cause that's just gonna be messy at that point. So once this hot glue gun heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach the sunflower to that and I'm just gonna add the rhinestones to our mason jar which is actually almost dry now oh this dries fast so just a few more minutes in the meantime I'm just gonna gather the rhinestones and decide which ones I want to use um I'm thinking probably purple 
but hmm let me do some googles all right so i'm actually gonna use pink and purple so pink is a sign of it symbolizes love nurture compassion it evokes the feelings of comfort warmth and hope and then purple um is it symbolizes like uh creativity extravagance dignity grandeur um, magic mystery peace and pride um so the combination of those two colors in conjunction with the yellow, which I'm I'm on a yellow streak right now. I really am feeling my yellows and my golds at the moment. Oh, this is about to be. I haven't put rhinestones on in a minute. So I gotta be careful. And I'm not sure how many of each I'll need. But I'm going to figure it out. So let me get this done first. Now that the hot glue gun is hot. I'm just going to make like a big spot of glue. So it has... A lot of space to stick. Ah. And this isn't going to be perfect, but that's okay. It's going to be mine. That's what matters. All right, so I'm going to leave this face down. And let's get to the rhinestone part. So yeah, this is pretty much dry. I don't really think that I need to do another coat. I could, but I don't I don't want to waste any more time on that. So let's get to this part. Um so for this, I'm not going to use the hot glue gun because I'm gonna need something stronger to make sure these stick. All right, what do I usually use? I usually use. All right, the tongs that I usually use are not tongs. What are they called? I don't know, but they're downstairs. So I don't, I can't, I, yeah, I'm not going back downstairs. So I'm just gonna use my hands and we're gonna make the first attempt at this. And if I need to redo it tomorrow, I will redo it. Well, if I need to redo it, I'll redo it another day. It might be tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, it's dry now. I can actually touch it. And we just gonna go one by one and I'm gonna alternate between pink and purple and I'm just gonna pray. I'm just going to pray. My tweezers, that's what I was looking for. I use tweezers. Yeah, this is a lot easier with tweezers, but honestly, if it wasn't so late at night, 
I probably would do more and I think I'm going to wind up doing this again or adding more to it at some point. I might be working on this during Love the Creative Black Woman one of these days, but this is a good start though. I'm actually enjoying this because it's my first time just crafting something just randomly for myself in a little while. And also this kind of puts a personal touch to making a personal gift fund. So now I put the chalkboard paint on here so that I could actually, let's say I'm saving for a particular gift for myself or a particular goal, I can actually write on here what I wanna do, what it's for, and then when I meet that goal, I can change it to a new goal. Or if I want to update the goal, I can update it right on the jar. So it's very possible that I will go back over this paint. Um, honestly, I'll probably make a bunch more of these and just be decorating them. And I can use them for different things. Ah. Different goals, different ideas. And I just scratched the paint. So, yep, I'll definitely be going back over this. <laughs> I will definitely be going back over this. Okay, this is what we have so far. So as of now, this is my jar. Got some chalk. Let's see if this works. All right, it, it kind of works, but it also peeled the paint a little bit. So when I make it look cuter, I'm gonna uh, spruce this up. I'm gonna have to do a couple more coats of the chalk paint, but at least I know it can it can be written on. At least I know that much. So. We got our personal gift fun. And like I said, I'm gonna spruce this up later, but this is a good start. Um, and I'm gonna actually map out what I want it to look like. <laughs> Cause this was just me throwing some stuff together for right now, but I'm still gonna use this at least to start. Um, and it might wind up being for something different and I'll have a new uh, personal gift fun jar, but I like the direction that I was headed in, so. This is going to be cute in the end. I'll send you, I'll show you guys an update whenever I <laughs> whenever I do it. But yeah. We do have a dog here, so I'm trying to clean up as thoroughly as possible cuz I do not want her trying to chew on any rhinestones.
And as always, I did end my night with my yay list. Um, this is still my favorite exercise and it helps me to remain grateful for all the things that happen throughout my day. So I'm always loving to do my yay list. Even if I write down one thing, I don't care. I'm doing it. <laughs> Thank you guys again for joining me for day 18 of our 30 days of self-care challenge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Download the checklist below so you can get started on your self-care journey as well. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed this exercise. It gave me a chance to just kind of get creative and also be patient with myself because sometimes you don't need to rush through things and also if it's just you being creative for you like it doesn't have to be perfect so sometimes you're going to make something that doesn't look like your favorite thing to start but trust me just give it some time and yeah it'll get there but i hope you guys are enjoying the 30 days of self-care and if you haven't already downloaded the checklist and if, even if you have i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves in the meantime um but i will see you guys tomorrow enjoy your night uh yeah bye